Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a cheap transfer pump. Um, I'm going to use this for biodiesel production, which I'll show you guys when I get to a place where I can do it without too much uh, hassle. This is a pump that was sent to me by a viewer, James. Thank you, James. Um, I had a pump that I took off an engine I found on the ground with no oil pump, and I wrecked it, and I don't remember how, in a little while. I'm assuming this is not a melling, it's probably a stock one that he took off. Um, which is fine with me, I don't care. But this is a stock, well, I'm pretty sure this is a stock Chevy small block oil pump. Um, there's four bolts. These are already gear to gear. So when I bring you guys back, you'll see they're, they're pretty simple devices, which is why it'll work perfectly for what we want to do here. Um, I'm going to open up this hole right here. I'm going to drill a hole right here. I'm going to plug this output at the end. It's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, a bunch of places online and, and videos say that these bolts are 10 millimeter and you can use a 10 millimeter, but this is a small box Chevy pump, which means that everything on it's measured in freedom units, motherfucker. So it's three eighths. Um, now I'm going to get my 10 millimeter socket and take those bolts off because it works either way. So I'll bring you guys right back when I have the pump split. Okay. Number one, I'm a liar. And, uh, 3 eighths did not work, and 10 millimeter did. So, shows what I know. Number two, here's the inside of the pump. It's as simple as you would think. It's a gear and a gear. Um, you got an inlet on this side that we're gonna block off, and you got an outlet on this side that we're going to block off. Um, actually, I think I just lied again. Yeah, I'm not gonna block the inlet off. I'm gonna block the outlet off, and right here is the pump pressure relief. I'm gonna block that. Um, the only mods that I need to do right now are to open this up so that I can put a piece of 3 8 pipe in it and drill another hole right here for a new outlet um, right here on this parting line so if you're holding it like this it actually goes in the block like this it would come out on the right side there so I'm just going to drill a hole I'll be right back alright uh, I drilled this out I only had a half inch drill bit, so I just wired it out a bit, used my crappy burr bit, got it opened up enough to get this started. Um, I'm going to cut it in half, so I have a half for each for the inlet and the outlet. And I'm going to pound it in there with a hammer, and I'm going to take the whole thing home and JV weld it. So I'll bring you guys back when I'm at home. Alright, so in the basement where all my RC cars come to die, this is what the uh, pump looks like now. This is where I drilled through. Uh, that's the factory outlet that I plugged off. That's the factory pump drive. Uh, the, again, that's the hole I drilled through. This is the factory inlet. Um, there's a little light coat. I'm gonna pump, bolt the halves together and I'm gonna do another coat. All right, next day I went and got some oil. I didn't have hose clamps, kind of screwed myself there. But uh, this is the pump, finished product. It's 5 8 heater hose on the outlet. And uh, it's 16 degrees out today in Michigan, if you didn't know. And it pumps like a champ. So. Uh, i set this up here so you can see. Again, it's just, I don't know, $3 for the pipe. Uh, $30 for the pump. Five bucks worth of JB weld. And you got a pump that moves 40 gallons a minute of absolute sludge oil. Look at that. Ew. It's gonna make some good fuel for my Toyota though. But yeah, um, totally works, works great. I mean, this will transfer anything you want. Look at that, look how thick that is. 
make a big mess in the back of your truck. Uh, you know, you know how we do. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps. We'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer.